This is Donna. Someone left a comment that they want to see how to get to the video settings, the picture settings, on the LG UF7300 TV. On your remote control, see if you can see that, you press the button that has the gear icon, the little cog, pointing at the TV. Now look over to the right. There's several tiny buttons that pop up. When you scroll down, it says what each is. The first one is picture. So while it's selected, press your OK button, which is in the center of your arrow keys. Now, you get to see the mode pop up, and that's all you get. It's very rudimentary. Now look at the face at standard. As you go through them, see that sort of a little bit of orangey. Ooh, sports is real red. Game, sort of. Vivid is vivid, like it says. I'll leave it on standard, but just so you see real quick again. Cinema is sort of beige. Sports is reddish. I'm gonna go back. How I'm going back and forth, I'm just pressing the left and right arrow keys. And when you get the one you want, you don't hit OK, you just press Exit. Now, to go to Advanced Picture Settings, again, press the little gear icon, the button with the cog on it. Press down arrow, or go up and around, either way. Basically, you want, you want the last one selected that says Advanced. It's the gray circle with three vertical dots on it. Then press OK, the OK button in the middle. Now you have a more expanded menu that appears on the right. See how when I press my up and down arrow key it goes through. Network, general, safety. You want to make sure you have picture selected and picture comes up by default. Actually, it goes to where you left off, so if you've been in this area before, you might have something else selected. Now, I press the right key, the right arrow once to get over here. Now, we'll start at the top. Smart picture mode. Look at the little pop-up that appears that gives you some help tips. It says that um, to use this mode, you have to be connected to the Internet and this automatically optimizes the image based on the content type. I'm going to leave that off, but if I wanted it on, I would press OK to expand it, and I would make sure I have on selected, and I would press OK to select it. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK again to expand it. I'm going to go back and go back down to off and hit OK to turn it back off. Now this is the same thing we looked at before. Press OK to expand it. I'm going to leave it on standard, and you also have some more settings here. Backlight, contrast, brightness, tint, color temperature. Very nice. I'm going to leave them alone, but you can go and experiment. Aspect ratio. I'm going to leave it on 16.9, 16 by 9. That's for normally wide screen. But you can scroll down and hit OK to select one. If you don't want to select one, you can hit the back button to just get out. There's a picture test, and I, I, I imagine if you call support, they might want you to run that. And then there's HDMI Ultra, high, defi high um, definition, deep color. And it says turn that on and off, especially if you turn it on, if you connect a device that supports HD deep color, your picture may be a little better. But if, you, if your device doesn't, support it. It really won't do you much good, so I'm just going to leave mine off. If I wanted to turn it on, I would press OK. Looks like I just have off, so maybe you have to have something selected. So I'm just going to hit back to get out of here, or you could hit exit to get out immediately. So again, press the gear icon to get to your rudimentary settings, go down the picture to get to the advanced, go all the way down to the advanced. Press exit. I hope that's helpful.